If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. John 15 verse 20. There is no greater evidence that Satan is working than that those who profess to be sanctified to God's service persecute their fellow beings because they do not believe the same doctrine that they themselves believe. These will rush with fury against God's people, stating as true that which they know to be untrue. Thus they show that they are inspired by him who is an accuser of the brethren and a murderer of the saints of God. But if God permits tyrants to do with us as the priests did with his son, shall we give up our faith and go back to perdition? It is not because God does not care for us that he permits these things to be, for he declares precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Psalm 116 verse 15. With Satan at their head to imbue them with his spirit, men may afflict God's people. They may cause pain to the body. They may take away their temporal life, but they cannot touch the life that is hid with Christ. We are not our own. Soul and body, we have been bought with the price paid on the cross of Calvary. And we are to remember that we are in the hands of him who created us. Whatever Satan may inspire evil men to do, we are to rest in the assurance that we are under God's charge and that by his spirit, he will strengthen us to endure. The time is soon to come when the Lord will say, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. Isaiah 26, verses 20 and 21. Those who love God need not be surprised if those who claim to be Christians are filled with hatred because they cannot force the consciences of God's people. Not long hence, they will stand before the judge of all the earth to render an account for the pain they have caused to the bodies and souls of God's heritage.